Welcome to Amy's Creative Corner. Today I'm putting some finishing touches on my photos before I add my layout to my shopping cart. So the first thing that I want to do is click on my focal photo and if you come up here to the toolbar it says Edit Photo. So I'm clicking on that and it loads the photo editor. Now I will say that this does take quite a bit of time, um, especially there have been some days when I've saved that it has really taken a lot of time. So if you have Photoshop or some other photo editor, you may want to use that, but I love some of these tools that are so quick and easy to use. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is start with um, Select Tool, and I click the down arrow arrow, excuse me, and let's start with blemish. And I'm going to come up here and on my husband's face he's got some of these red dots. Those of us that are getting older know all about that. And as I put the um, blemish in the crosshairs and just click once and the blemishes disappear. I can even get some on his neck. Yep, and I think that's pretty good. Uh, looking at me, nope, I don't have to worry about that. I've got a much more major issue to deal with. Okay, so I think blemishes are fine. Now I can come down here and I can choose the toothbrush. Now this is awesome. I love this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because what I can do is just run right over my teeth, being careful not to get up on my lips because it will make my lips a little bit um, lighter as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click undo and redo just so that you can see the big difference. So undo, redo, undo, redo. Nice, huh? And if I go over it again, it'll make it even lighter. Okay, so now another great tool that we have here is the glare tool. And I'm going to crank this way up because I'm going to say this kind of quietly so he doesn't hear. My husband's a little like nervous about his balding head. So I don't want when he's looking at this layout. I don't want that to be his focal like, oh look at I have no hair and it's the um, flash is glinting off my head. So I'm just going to come up here and I click a couple of times, a few times, and the glare goes away. So let me, I'm going to undo three times, four times. Okay, oops, redo. There's my white teeth. Okay, and you can see that that glare has gone away, or at least isn't quite as prominent as it was before. Okay, so the final thing that I'm going to do is looking at my tools here, I'm selecting wrinkle. And I'm going to put this down at about 20. Yeah, 20. So right here, this is the one thing about my face that I know that this right here is why people get facelifts. It makes me crazy. I see that and I'm just horrified by it. But Close to My Heart provides me with a wrinkle tool. So I'm just going to click several times right on top that wrinkle and draw down, blend in that wrinkle to the rest of my nose and pretty soon it almost completely disappears. Cheapest facelift ever. Okay, I'm going to hit some undo so that you can see how amazing this is. So I'm just undoing, undoing, undoing. Oh, look at it. It's awful. Okay, but 
it's going away because I have used the wrinkle tool. Super excited about that. Okay, now I'm going to redo way back out so that my wrinkle goes away. It's like magic. Won't it be nice when they get the liposuction tool? I'm very excited about that one. <laughs> okay, so once I'm happy with my lack of a nose wrinkle, my husband's lack of glare, my white teeth, nice. Okay, I'm going to hit save. And this is the part where it potentially can take quite a bit of time. So just remember that patience is a virtue and I will come back to you after it has finished saving. And I'm back. It actually only took a couple minutes to save this time. The other night it was took me a really long time to save, so this is pretty good this time. Okay, now I am done with my layout. You can see I am wrinkle-free, blemish-free, almost glare-free. Pretty excited about how my layout has turned out. And so now I can add my, or I can actually buy my project. So this is the only layout that I'm going to do for Uno. And notice that I've got this um, little symbol, caution symbol, so that I can see that uh, I need to preview this. So I'm going to approve my layout. And it loads in and approval is required. You must approve this before you um, are able to purchase your layout so that you can make sure that it looks exactly the way you want it to. So the key is to zoom as far in as possible and you're going to scroll over to one side. Now you will see, you may not be able to pick it up on this video here. Let me move this up here. But there's a, a Studio J logo right in the center. Obviously that's not going to print out, so you don't need to worry about that. That just lets us know that we are in Studio J. So I scroll all the way in and I just go down one side and I look at every single inch of my layout as close as possible. And you can definitely do this when you um, have your layout on your larger screen too. Okay, so I'm actually going to just do one side at a time. So I went down the left side of the first page. Now I'm going up the right side of the first page. And that all looks good. So now I'm going to move on over to the second page. Oops, I'm going to go down the left side. And I'm really focusing on the left half. Do I have everything placed where I want it? Do I make sure that I don't have any random embellishments or text boxes floating out and about? I look here, make sure that one, my journaling says what I want it to say, and two, that it is spelled correctly. And then I finish up. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with that, so I can go ahead and approve it. Now, if I put not yet, then that means that I could go back in and fix anything that I needed to fix. So I approved it and now I can go back to my cart. And uh, I opened up my project and it shows that yes indeed I have approved this layout. Now because I am a member I not only get my custom print, but I also get free JPEGs at half the price that I would pay if I was not a member. And if you recall from the um, first part of this tutorial was that this was a members only layout. So 
I um, am getting a lot out of my membership today. Now, I'm not going to hit check out yet because I still have quite a few layouts over here that I still need to uh, finalize and put in my cart and then review before I make my purchase.